Yes, is the screen is visible to you, sir? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the feedback. Yes, today's topic of discussion is DSP essentials for MATLAB programming. So, well, first of all, we should know what is meant by signal. So, here I was asked to cover all the basics involved in this because in the next two days, uh, we are going to, Sarah is going to handle uh, MATLAB or hands on experience with MATLAB. So, first thing, what is signal? So, anything that carries some amount of information is called signal. So, something that conveys information. So, generally, conveying information about the state or behavior of any physical system. So any physical quantity that varies with time, space, or any other independent variable or variables. So it can be a function of one or more independent variables. So if a uh, signal, uh, right, uh, the, if the signal is depending on uh, only one variable, then the signal is known as one dimensional signal. So the example is speech signal. If a signal is depending on two signal, two different signals, two different variables, then it is called two dimensional signal. We can take image signal as the or image signal or X-ray signal. All these signals are coming under two dimensional signal and a multi dimensional signal. So if it depends upon more than two variables, then we can bring those kind of signals under multi dimensional signals. Best example is the speed of the wind. Here, the parameters covered are latitude, longitude, elevation, time, other things. So the best example for signal, the general common example for signals are ACG, EEG, EMG, all other signals. And if you are representing with the continuous time signal, continuous time domain, then S of T is equal to 5 into T. If the same signal is represented with the discrete time domain, then S of n is equal to 5 into small n. So small t and small n are representing the time domain parameter. And here the small t is the continuous time signal and uh, small n is, going, is used to represent the discrete time signal. And the signal types, so basically the signals are classified into two different categories, continuous time signal and discrete time signal. So continuous time signal in the sense it varies continuously with respect to time. So here you can take this or else we, the best example is the sine waveform. So here if you are taking the signal and t small t is the x-axis parameter and your y-axis parameter will be your x of t here in this example. Otherwise, we can have any kind of variable here, voltage, time, at amplitude, whatever the parameter we are going to measure with respect to time. So the, any signal with continuously varying with respect to time is called the continuous time signal. So here, the signal, the meaning here is the signal that has a value for all points in time. It's a function of time. So we can write our equation as x of t is equal to something we can be able to write. If it is a sine waveform, we can able to write it as x of t is equal to a sine omega t. So we can write our things in this way. And uh, commonly, the continuous time signals are commonly found in the normal world or in the real world, physical world. Example, the best example is the human speech. And it can be displayed as a, a graph 